Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, or whatever time of the day that you're watching this video. I hope you're doing well because today, right now, we are going to talk about Republic Act number 10533 as one of the legal basis of the implementation of the MTB MI subject. Disclaimer. I'm not going to talk about the entire Republic Act. I'm just going to discuss the parts of it that clearly supports the implementation of the MTB and other subject. Okay? Are we clear? Yes, we're clear. Ooh. Well, this is quite ironic because I'm speaking in English while explaining something related to the mother tongue language. Anyway, let's move on and let's speak so, when you Republic Act number 10533, kay ilado or na ilhansab siya sa ngalan nga Enhanced Basic Education Act of 2013. So, unsa man dyan siya. So, kini nga balaod kay mahitungod sa pagpalambo sa basic education system sa Pilipinas. Pinaagi sa pagpaligon sa curriculum o pagpataas. Hey! What happened? I mean, pagdugang o panahon ng katuigan sa basic education. Kalaki po ani nga balaod ang paggahin ng pondo para sa implementasyon, teachers training, o uban pa. So what is basic education? What does this mean, di ba? Basic. Pinakasimple, pinakasayon, pinakakinahanglan. O ang fundasyon sa atong kahibalo, sa atong knowledge. Basic education is intended to meet basic learning needs which provides the foundation of which subsequent learning can be based. Kalakip sa basic education sa Pilipinas ang kindergarten, elementary, o secondary education, as well as the alternative learning system or ALS for out of school learners and those with special needs. So, kanya kung mga ipangyawyo ka ron, this is not just made by me. No? This is according to the section 3, page 2 of RA10533. Now, what is an enhanced basic education program? Kung sabi na saya pa, unsa man yung gipalambo? Unsa man yung gipalambo, gipatsyada ang basic education program? Unsa man nadugang ani? Karon sa bagong education program, required na nga mo agi og at least one year sa kindergarten ng mga bata. Unlike before, hindi siya compulsory or public lang daw or like, di ba, katulang daw maka-afford. Moreover, we still have the six years of elementary education, but now we also have the six years of secondary education. This is mainly because the four years for the junior high school, while the last two years are for the senior high school education. <clears throat> Next, what is mother language or what is MTB and are all about? Paragraph 7 of section 4 states that, Una, mother language or first language refers to language or languages. First learned by a child which he or she identifies with is identified as a native language user of by others which he or she knows best or uses most. Meaning, maoy yung ginagamit sa balay or inustoryahan nila sa inyong balay or within the community. So this also includes Filipino sign language used by individuals with pertinent disabilities. Ikaduha. Regional or native language. So, this refers to the traditional speech variety or variety of Filipino sign language existing in a region, area, or place. Diba? Since Philippines is an archipelago and bitan pag lahi nga dayanlag. So, what's with the new curriculum? What's up? The new curriculum has been formulated by the Department of Education and crafted through sectoral collaborations with the Commission in Higher Education. Technical, edu uh, Technical Education Skills Development Authority, Department of Labor and Employment, Professional Regulation Commission, and other organizations, associations, and concerned stakeholders. So again, this is mentioned in the Section 5 Curriculum Development, page 3 to 4 of the said Republic Act. So in general, the new curriculum is more inclusive, learner-centered, relevant, and research-based, inquiry-based, culture-sensitive, global, and it is para-progressive, it is flexible, and it nurtures the students to acquire the 21st century skills that they need. And now for the last and most awaited question of all, why is RA10533 considered to be one of the legal basis of for MTB MLE subject, diba? Unsay basihan, unsay naa sa iyaha, unsay naa ning balaod nga wala sa uban balaod. 
Well, we have two main reasons for that, apart from all the other reasons. Una, paragraph 5 of section 4 states that, Basic education shall be delivered in languages understood by the learners, as the language plays a strategic role in shaping the formative years of the learners. Ikaduha, paragraph 9 of section 5 states that, the new curriculum shall adhere to the principles and framework of mother tongue-based multilingual education, which starts from where the learners are and from what they already know, proceeding from the known to the unknown, and instructional materials and capable teachers to implement the MTD-NLE curriculum shall be available. So, now that's it for the discussion of RA10533. I hope na naadjud mo yung natunan no, ano, ano yung topic. Anyway, my pleasure. Thank you.